In days gone by, kayaks were made of wood and animal skin and used by hunter-gatherers to survive. Fast forward to today and kayaks have updated their image. Now they're marvels of moulded plastic coveted by sports enthusiasts far and wide. A kayak is formed by the melting of plastic on a mould of nickel. This mould is made in two parts, an upper and a lower section. The surface of the mould is perfectly smooth and has a mirrored finish that guarantees an excellent luster. The graphics are laid on the mould before moulding begins so that they become impregnated into the plastic. It takes a steady hand because these stickers can't be lifted off if they've been badly positioned. This is the linear polythene which will be melted to form the shell. It comes in several colours and the amount of powder used is determined by the kayak model to be made. Other parts of the kayak, such as the baggage compartment cover, the central support and seats are created in separate moulds. Before entering the oven, the moulds are securely closed with clamps to avoid any loss of polythene. The kayak mould is put onto a transporter and placed facing the oven. Because of the large dimensions of the craft, the oven had to be custom made. It's 7 metres long with a diameter of 1.7 metres. The polythene melts at 288 degrees centigrade. To completely distribute the powder throughout the mould, it pivots on several axes. It turns on itself while the oven oscillates 30 degrees towards the front and rear. This procedure is termed rock and roll. After 20 minutes, the cooking is complete and the mould exits the oven. But the plastic has to cool in order to solidify. To do this, they place the mould in this cooling chamber. It must not be cooled too quickly or it becomes deformed. A 4.8 metre kayak can lose up to 15 centimetres of its length. The cover of the mould is at last lifted off. as are the smaller moulds. Next, the kayak can proceed to the machining. Any plastic ridges left by the joint between the two halves of the mould are removed. The kayak now moves to the finishing department. This begins with the screwing on of the carrying handles. The opening for the baggage compartment is cut. And the trimming is also installed. The central support is positioned. It plays an important role because it links the bottom and top portions of the craft. All that remains to be done now is to finish the baggage compartment. Fasteners are attached. Then the cover is put in place and held down with a retaining strap. Finally, the kayak is packaged for delivery. The adventure is ready to begin.